Hey everyone, I'm X Arkayan, and this is Let's Play Dredge. Last time, uh, there was a little bit of panic, uh, and we we can't we can't sell fish. That's not a thing we can do right now. Um, so, in the interest of full disclosure, this is a blind playthrough, but I did want to ask my friend Brent, who recommended the game to me and actually bought me the game. Uh, the peculiar engine. Is there a reason to keep it? Like, because it says someone's tuned the engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. And I wasn't sure. Is that like, like a thing, or are we just like, you know, is it just the game being the game? Um, Fred says they think it's just the game being the game. So, with that being said, I'm going to actually purchase a better engine, because that terrified me. Yay! So, uh, can you actually sell a used engine? I don't want to be without a motor when the fog rolls in. Okay, you can't, so I will sell this engine. Um, I did almost uh, buy this engine, the refined outboard engine, while uh, fucking around uh, before the video. Uh, so that, that almost happened off screen. Whoops. Uh, refined outboard engine, 300. Install. Okay. So, and let's, let's see. You open yet? No, nope, still closed. So... I'm trying to remember this is a thing, the storage locker. So, fish aren't, the, the squid aren't looking too hot. Uh, not much we can do about that though. Uh, I'm definitely gonna sell them uh, for whatever they get me, but, um, what else are you gonna do? So, I'm trying to think what else to say. Uh, I guess at this point we're just literally dredging. We're, we're our full task is dredging, so find the key in the marrow. Okay. Let's undock. That was fun, whatever just happened there. Uh, <laughs> fucking just what I need, another game that fucks up on me. I've been playing a lot of Hell Divers 2 lately. For the record, you will not see me play that because my computer can barely run Hell Divers 2. Let, a, let alone run it uh, with anything else going. I literally need to, like, kill my entire computer with the exception of Helldivers 2 to make that work, so. Uh, let's see. So, that's the only dredge spot I'm seeing. What, it says the marrows, right? Like, that's what it says the, uh... This is the marrows, huh? Like... So all of this is different places. I guess these are different locales. So we got little... Okay. Wait, what's this supposed to be? Oh, that's the big red light he wanted us to check out. Right? He mentioned something about that. Pursuits. I mean, it's not mentioned, but... Checking out shipwrecks and the like would be a good place to start. He mentioned the locals might be able to point me to some. Is that what he meant? Was that a... Was that one of those shipwrecks? Isn't that where the red lights come from? I guess we can check it out. Uh, we'll... We'll go dredge over there first, though. So I did actually do the math, and the engine we just installed is, like, one knot faster, or whatever, than the previous double-up engine. So, you know, it's something. Uh... Okay. Now that's a lot of lumber. I don't know. I kind of just feel like I should just keep going. No, no. I gotta remember. I I have a hard time remembering that when you do that, time moves forward. So okay. We got some lumber. Let's uh, let's go. But we gotta make sure to give us enough time to get back. To shore. Uh, because that shit last time was fucking terrifying. 
and I do not want to re-experience it. What the fuck are we looking at there? There is some pixie wind shit going on there. Um, but hey, it's a dredge spot. Shapes in the water. Fires in the sky. Alright, more fucking claw. What, a, what an odd thing to find in the fucking Oh, I forgot. I can fucking crab check. Uh, we gotta, we gotta put crabs out. We gotta, we gotta put that crab thing down. Okay, so that is it. Yeah, it's just, we just, there we go. Have fun, get better. All right, so where, where are we looking here? Map. All right, so we're going over here. Oh, okay. Something's going on right here. Inspect. Pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Hmm. Oh. That's a thing. We'll check that out. And then work on heading back. Hmm. What is this? Is this a dredge spot? Is this a fishing spot? I can't tell. Okay. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like that. Uh, I don't like that sound I'm already hearing. Let's, um... No, we're not gonna do this. We'll, we'll head back. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow with daylight. Okay. So I, I have learned, I was told, I didn't ask, but I was told that the foghorn is a bad idea, uh, especially when you're out and about. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. We don't need it, we don't need it. Okay. Cool. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. I'm sure at some point I'm gonna have to, you know, stop being such a giant pussy and, you know, stay out on the water with that thing. I'm not there yet. Hey, you back? Oh, hey! Uh, I'm going to get a headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, hang on, I gotta get some rotting squid out of storage. Uh, no, how do you... Okay. I don't know how you do it every day. These old bones wouldn't cut it on the high seas. $14 for these rotten squid. That's fine. Uh, so let me... Wood I can put towards dry dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already started on this one. I actually, like, thinking about it, I would actually want engine space. Because I want faster engines to, you know, run away from things. But, since I've already started here, um, might as well keep it up. So we're gonna... So we still need just metal straps. Oh, wait, can I actually take stuff out? I can. Okay. That changes everything. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, and then we could... Oh, yes. Okay. I mean, I, I know it's only... What, what just happened? What just happened? What? I think I accidentally put it in storage. Hang on. I did not know you could do that. I did. Ooh, I was afraid I'd like fucking thrown it overboard or something. Okay. Ooh, okay, and we got we got the fisherman back, so we can go out uh, or fishmonger back, so we can go out fishing tomorrow. But uh, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over there and investigate the weird thing over there. So rest. You know what? Early enough. I think we can. 
get an early start. Uh, oh, hey. Think I can reach it before that disappears? Oh, I can reach that one before it disappears. No! Didn't reach it. Didn't reach it. We tried. We tried. Okay. Oh, maybe the uh, maybe the lady on the coast, the builder or whatever her name was. We'll have to go see what she's got going on. Time to dredge. That's what I say before I do one of these episodes. Every time. I don't like what I just heard. Relic discover ornate key. That is a. I don't like these sounds. What am I hearing? You guys heard that, right? Uh, all right. Eels? I can throw an eel in there. Yeah. Oh, crab trap looks like it's got. Stuff. Time for another crab check. One thing that's hard to... Because I'm not doing these like I used to. I used to When I used to do videos, I would do a lot of them kind of at once. Um, or I would do them like as soon as the previous video was published. Um, because I'm doing these on more of a set schedule, I kind of forget some of the stuff that's been said in the previous videos. Look at the size of the boy! Uh... Starting to run out of room. Leave. We'll leave that back. And uh, so, a couple of videos ago, I had mentioned how I was like afraid of like YouTube coming down on my videos because I was uh, swearing too much in the beginning or some such like that. Uh, yeah. So, like two videos ago, uh, YouTube put up one of my videos as like. This is 18 plus only. Um, I'm sure you can figure out why by a certain scene that almost became the thumbnail. Uh, but anyways, uh, you enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. Here's the key. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head. Now, somehow, seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? <laughs> is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. And in that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in the book and mutters something low under his breath. Okay, a burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. What? Ability unlock haste, otherworldly speed at a price. Now go. We have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the currents may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Um... The words you read from that but what 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 did just happen there <sighs> the book holds power from the deep i merely extended its powers towards you is there one in particular you wish to know about yeah the one you just did the words of haste are instant and cruel they will impart a terrible speed to your vessel be warned however it may put a great deal of stress on your engines <laughs> Other, other powers you wish to know more about? All right, so we're gonna have other powers. Anything else? Yeah. How long have you lived here? <sighs> Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before me. 
But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? Do, do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. Are you the guy? Are you the are you the guy from the the, the note? <laughs> An old friend. Hmm. Anything else? Where should I look for relics? My intuition tells me that the current. Okay, so blah blah blah. Nothing, nothing. I'll be gone. All right. Uh, can I do anything here yet? Go inside. It's locked. Yeah. I should have tried to get in there with the key. At an engine here. Huh? Cabin. Oh, hey, this book's almost complete. And oh, it marks on here where your crab traps are. That's neat. All right. So Gale Cliffs. Ooh. Okay. All right, so let's... Oh, hey. Cabin. Uh, which one is this? Engines provide 5% more moving speed than crap. Okay. So I guess we're moving... What's 5% of 20? Is it 30 knots? What? What? Why? What? What? Where? I thought it only came out at night. Fucking... Why not just terrify me? All right. Okay. Got a little. Got a little pretty. This is a terrible game for me. This is... It's really not... It's really not great for me, this game. Like, I get so twitchy so easily. Yeah, we'll use that in the morning when I didn't just hear a terrifying sound. I actually had intended on using it, but then, you know, nightmare sounds came from the deep. So, what? Jesus! Lighthouse Keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh... It's you. Who? What? Excuse me? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Okay. Good talk. Hmm. Haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. Wait, was that just the key? Was that all that was? I guess it's not there now, yeah. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, let's, uh, get a good night's sleep, and let's wake up now. Okay. Undock. Okay, so what I want to do is I know he told us to do a thing, but he's not the fucking boss of me. So, what I want to do is I want to go visit uh, Lady Mick uh, Builderfuck, and I figure what a better scenario to test the uh, the thing with. What am I doing? That is to the north, right? Yes, steel point. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna select it with E. There it is. Okay, and so, okay, there's the engine. Uh, heat. I'm going to get moving. And I'm going to select it with E. And now I use this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Calm it down, calm it down. Okay, okay. So it's just, okay, I wasn't sure what we were getting into. You know, like, you... Like, it's a boost. It, that's what it is. It's a boost. And that's fine. So we probably... Now, I understand that that's probably going to do crazy things at night. But 
during the day, it doesn't seem to, like, stress really plays into it so far, so. Oh, this is, you know what? This is actually nice. This is a nice place you've got here. I would, I would live here. Maybe not on the rock, but, like. Ah. Yeah, she sounds happier. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Hey, will do. And it's just, okay, we've got like a fucking magic storage locker. Oh, and we can, uh, we can do this shit here. Neat. Uh, okay, so we got a new book, and so, ah. yeah, okay, wait, ah. managed to get myself set up now, so literally just, that's it, just, you're the dock here, okay, I guess it's just another point we can run away to, maybe, I'm not, I haven't been too clear on, uh, that, you know, uh, hang on. I want to find... Metal scrap. Hello. That's cloth. That's clearly cloth. Are you? Oh, that's metal scrap right there. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Because I want more engine space. Especially because now we got this thing that, hey, it might burn out the engine. I wonder if that's the case if we have more than one engine, if it will burn out both of them or not. Either way, it sounds like a good idea to have backup engine bits. So, you know, we still got a good amount of time, so let's just, uh, let's just fudge some more. I want upgrades. I want the upgrades fucking done. Bam. Bam diggity. Okay, we got a couple of that, and uh, we're gonna want fish because fish is how we make money. Okay, I think I'm, I'm starting to get uh, I'm starting to get a little bit of a rhythm for this game, you know? Like, all right, let's get back to some safer waters. So, oh, almost ran it, almost ran it a little too hot. I wasn't really paying attention, it was more walking where I was going, as opposed to how fast I was going. Uh, let's, uh, grab some cod. Okay! All-seeing cod, cool. Staring outwards, unblinking eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind, but not the mind to process what it sees. Have I had one of these? Is this new? I think this is new. I'm not, I don't want to put anything up here if I can help it, because that's how you lose fish. Like the, the shard ray, never forget. Oh, uh, the old shard ray. One day, my friend. Hey, maybe that's what we can do. Uh, there's been a couple of spooky... Uh, there's been some... Fish. God. Fucking Tokyo drifting. Tokyo drift, drift, drift. Fucking... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I had a moment. I had a moment. Let's uh, let's sell the fucking gross fish. Fish longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fish. Fifty bucks for this fucking fish. Hell yeah. All right, and shipwreck. Right. No. Dry dock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, it was two. Okay. Glad I grabbed you. I thought I was like, oh, I'll grab one first. Purchase upgrade. Hell yeah. That's it. It just fucking we got we got the upgrade. Bam! Look at that. Oh, we need to. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Hey, let's go see what's out there for fish. Yeah, we... Whoa, Jesus, okay. Jesus, she goes fast now, boys. All right, what fucking gross squid might I find? Found it. 
brood squid. Okay, we're done with you. Okay, I see things out on the water, but... He won't come in here, right? <laughs> Fucking terrifies me, dude. Interesting. Does he move when... Okay, he moves even when I'm not moving. Even when time doesn't move. Interesting, interesting. Where are those fucking rays? Are they... Rays? Rays. Okay, let's see. We'll put you up there. Can I? Yeah, I can fit at least... I, I see spots for three more rays. Or two more rays. Total. Okay. Okay. Now we just go back. Which is fast enough if I go fast, but I don't want to hit rocks either, so, you know. Jeez, fuck! You saw that, right? Longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fish! We'll just... Oh, it's raining. We'll just grab a quick nap. Oh, yeah. 26 minutes? Uh, what are you fucking... Oh, you're just telling me about that thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, what else, what else we got? Not you. Uh, what else we got over here? Four rods to hold nets. Two rods. So we need... best into a tier two hole and has five new cargo spaces. So we need all of that before we can get this. So that's three things, that's three things, that is four things. I think that's the one I want most next. So we have spare wood? I forget. Yes. That was over here. So I do still think I want lights next because that helps when you're traveling at night because to see where you're going. Uh, but, oh right, I gotta turn that off. But, let's, uh, in the interest of doing something, um, let's, so he wanted me to go to, uh, th this place, okay. So let's, um, let's grab the crab trap. I don't want that out here breaking, because who knows what that part is. Just throw that in there. Throw that in there. And... No, that's not what I think. Pick up. There we go. Okay. So I just want to point myself in the right direction here, because I don't know how well turning is going to work, and who knows if I'm going to have to run for my life. All right, so we want to go to the other side of Blackstone Isle. Now, part of me wonders, is doing this on a rainy day a bad idea? But here we are. Bad idea central. Uh, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Oh, thank fucking God. Okay. I would be a terrible person to be in one of these situations. Um, this 
Yeah, this just seems like a bad idea. Like, every every time... One of the, oh, what, what's going on over there? There's like a little island, right? Am I seeing that? Alright, so... If I turn... Am I facing the little island now? Is that the... Am I remotely... Yes, okay. So that little island is the halfway point. Okay, that's where we're going then. Alright, let's go. Okay. 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 See, here's the thing. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to go higher than half because what if I suddenly need to like? What if I need to escape something? You know. So what's going on here? There's something happening right here. What is this? Slow it down. Slow it down. Is that a dredge spot? That is a. That's another fishing boat. Expect. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor. Except this one has a huge breach in one side. You're tied up alongside the old wreck. Look in the cabin. You're in the cabin. Jeez, okay. Not how I read that. Not how I read that at first. I was, I was reading it differently. I thought I was finding my own corpse in the cabin. Uh, look in the cupboards and drawers. The cupboards have been completely and methodically empty. All the drawers are missing. Try to find a loose floorboard. There aren't even any floorboards left. You're in the cabin. Check the overhead electrical equipment. The equipment is all still there, though surely exposure to the elements is fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. Do I have a radio? A note slips off the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. You're in the cabin. I, I don't know. Something about that. Tied up alongside the old Check out the cargo. You poke through the cargo hold. A few items remain, not yet lost to sea. It's just another fishing pole. Okay. I guess. I sell that. I don't want to install it. What do you... Uh, storage. There we go. Wow, you can send stuff to storage from, like, weak valve engine. Oh, god damn. Well, they just want to use a high rate of functions. Huh. But I could probably... Alright, send that to storage, too. And, um... I didn't realize I could just send this shit to storage, like... And she's like, yeah, okay, you don't have it. Okay, cool. Um... Okay. So, that's... Oh, right, I have a note. I have a note to read. Messages. Wait. Notes. Okay, I was going to say. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken. Fog core. Five equals rise. He knows. I'm not good at this sort of stuff. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't like it. But I don't know what it means. Okay, so we want to get to... Okay, okay. There seems to be a place... Oh, fuck! Jesus! She goes so fast now! Like... Oh, hello. Uh, so let's check out the damage. Okay, so it's just a random spot. Because I didn't get hit on that side at all. Okay, I thought it might have been... Related to whatever spot I got hit on, but okay. Um, that's a that's a dredge spot, all right. What is this? It's just a perfect box. Okay. Ouroboros flag? I don't. I don't like. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't want an Ouroboros flag. Alright, let's get that. Alright, so this is where I'm supposed to be going, right? Alright, before I go any further. Yes, okay. Who's that I'm seeing up ahead? Shiny. Nope. Engineer's companion. Oh, okay, good to know. It's shiny. 
I want it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sir. Sir or madam. Select item. Okay. Uh, you're closest. We're going to you first. Pulling up. Okay. Okay, uh, this is an Ingfell. We're at Ingfell now. Uh, Jesus, right off the top. Uh, what can you tell me about the cliffs? Hmm. Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Oh, Gale and the wind. Okay. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anybody knew where to find them. Anything else? You know of any odd characters around these parts? Yeah, mm. you, you fucking weirdo. Have you ever heard the tale of Magran? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. The Grand, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magran the Fish Man. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Magran was nowhere to be found. Nor has he been seen since. Anything else? Where can I sell my fish? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything. And she does repairs, too. Anything else? No, oh, actually, that's what I needed to know. Uh, do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here we considered aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Sure. What the fuck is a conger eel? Anything else? Uh, yeah, wh wh where? Ah, oh, yes, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. Imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, did I mention they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck! Fuck you. Okay, uh, how about you, retired whaler? Mm. Are there any shipwrecks around here? <sighs> the real wreck around here is a settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting the decision now. Devil. Anything else? Uh, have you heard about any strange things in the area? <laughs> Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but I mean, we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. Anything else? What can you tell me about your your village, your town here? What can you tell me about Ingfell? <sighs> Ingfell used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago. Now look at us, barely scraping by for a new camp. Sure, okay. Uh, so, across the bay. Alright. Traveling merchant, let's go. I need to fix my shit and sell some shit, and hey, there's fish over there, let's catch them. I swear I'm not. Oh, I, I, I swear I'm actually trying to get to a point in the episode where I can end it. I didn't want to. Fuck! They disappeared. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Where do I dock here? Okay, cool. Huh. 
Ahoy there! You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant. All rolled into one, if you can believe it. If you have any fish to sell, fish... Goddamn. Fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. <laughs> Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stuff and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. That reminds me, uh, we did find a note. Jesus Christ, there's so many things. Uh, messages. Oh god, that's gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? Hang on, just real quick. Ah, we'll get to it later. We'll get to it next time. Remind me. Remind me. Uh, deliver rotting congress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'd never forget anything. Lady, I've been recording these videos, and I don't remember one from the next. Except for the terror. Anyway, she said she was setting up on a small island to the south of the Marrows. If you're in the area, you can check on it. Alright. Jesus. Oh. Hey again, come by for a chat? There's so much. Okay, we're already past 40 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm making that the cutoff here. <laughs> she even put on like a fucking... Uh, hey, sell any shit? I'll go keep a stock of crab pots. Uh, yep, yeah, so sell all fish. And... Uh... Floating dog. Mm. No, that's not what I want. Not yet. Mm. Uh... Repair, that's what we want. Okay. And did you... Okay, no, you will just, it's just, uh... Oh. Hey, you do. You're very kind. Uh, and I can't... Oh, I can... No, wait. I can't sell that. Oh, but I can put it in storage. Neat. Okay, cool. Um... Okay. I think we're gonna call it there. Uh, there's probably some upgrades I can do, but, uh, this episode's going on long enough. I'm trying to keep these in the 20 to 30 minute mark. Uh, we'll see how long that keeps, because as shown, uh, this one went a little over. Anyways, I'm XR Kyan, this is Let's Play Dredge, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Later!